hello and welcome to my channel study fun so let's get started today we are going to discuss about some technical terms associated with the thread or the screw terminology or thread terminology so what is first technical term is crust so what do we mean by crust crust is actually the outermost part of the thread is called crust so that particular portion is called the crust and after that what is root root is actually the innermost part of the thread that is actually the innermost part of the thread after that there are two definitions major diameter and the min minor diameter so the major diameter is actually it is the largest diameter of the internal or external thread here in the in this diagram there are threads which is actually the threads of the bolt okay if you assume the threads of the nut you can also just you just keep the definition of the major diameter same that it is actually the largest diameter of the thread whether it is internal or external doesn't matter so it is actually the major diameter which is actually the distance between the two crust you can also say that and after that what is the minor diameter minor diameter is actually the minimum diameter of the external and the internal thread okay whether it is external or internal thread the definition of the minor di diameter remains same so what is the definition definition is simply says it is actually the minimum diameter of the external or internal thread or you can also say that it is actually the distance between the two root okay so that becomes the minor diameter after that the definition is pitch diameter so what is pitch diameter it is imaginary diameter which passes in between major and minor diameter it is usually the halfway between the major and the minor diameter okay so what is actually the pitch diameter we can simply understand with the diagram that this the distance between the two crust is called major diameter and the di di distance between the two root is called the minor diameter so what is the pitch, pitch, uh, pitch diameter it is actually the diameter which is actually lying in the midway between the crust or you can say that between the major and the minor diameter so that is a major diameter that is a minor diameter so there is a line which is passing between the major diameter and the minor diameter so that line the distance between the lines which are passing between the or you can say that middle or you can say that midway between the major and minor diameter that distance is called the pitch circle oh sorry pitch diameter now i'll let's visualize this here i have shown the two threads and the threads which are formed with the help of red color are the threads on the uh, bolt and the threads which are shown with the help of purple color are the threads of the nut so what i make you visualize is that when you tighten the nut inside the bolt then you can see that particular um, you can say that uh, formation of the threads okay so what do i exactly mean that for example when you tighten the nut inside the bolt then the threads of the nut and the bolt intersect or meet at a point so what does that point you can simply say or you can assume that that is a point where the threads of the bolt and the nut meet or intersect each other or you can say touch each other in the same way that is the point where the threads of the bolt and the nuts are intersect and in the same way that point where the both threads meet each other and there is a line which is passing through these three this, there is a line which is passing through these three points okay in the same way that the threads meet each other these three points okay so these three point what does that all this point shows that where the threads of the bolt and the nuts meet to each other in the same way the line passing through these points and the distance between these two lines is called pitch diameter so what is the pitch diameter pitch diameter is actually the distance between the two lines which is passing through the each intersecting point of the threads of the bolt and the nut though it is quite complicated but uh, you have to understand that what do i exactly mean okay so now move towards the flank what is the flank the surface joining the crust with the root is called flank okay so let's move on what is the flank that is that surface is called flank that surface which is actually which connects the crust and the root to each other okay so there is a surface which is actually which is between the crust and the root okay or you can say that the surface which join the crust with the root is that surface is called flank now move towards the next term so thread angle it is the angle which is formed between the two flanks is called thread angle so let's understand this with the diagram yes this is the diagram and uh, what is the thread angle thread angle which is actually the 
angle between the two flanks okay so i have already told you what is the flank flank is actually the surface which connects the root with the crust so the angle between the two flanks is called the thread angle now moving towards the slope so what is the slope it is actually the distance between the root and the crust distance between the roots and the crust parallel to the axis of the thread so let's understand with the uh, diagram so that is the actually that is the slope it is actually the distance between the root between the crust and the root parallel to the axis of the thread what is the axis that central line which passes through the um, which you can say that bold okay that central uh, line is called the axis of the thread slope slope is actually the distance between the root and the crust um, parallel to the line axis of the thread okay so that line actually because that line is always parallel to the axis of the thread because they both are at the zero degree then move on towards the depth of thread what is the depth of thread it is a distance between the root and crust but it is perpendicular to the axis of the thread so again move toward the diagram it is actually the depth which is the distance between the root and the crust but it is actually the distance which is the perpendicular which is perpendicular to the axis of the thread okay so axis of the thread is that and what is the perpendicular that line so it means that that particular distance here you can easily see uh, just wait here you can easily see that this distance you can see that if i again make then this distance that actually distance which is actually the distance between the root and the crust perpendicular to the axis of the thread so lead of the thread it is very simple the linear distance traveled by the bolt parallel to the axis of the thread inside the nut after one complete rotation so it simply means that if you make a one revolution of the bolt inside the nut okay so if you make a one complete revolution of the bolt it means if you rev revolve the nut rotate the nut 360 degree so whatever the linear distance the nut covers but parallel to the axis of the thread that linear distance is basically known as the lead of the thread okay so in single star thread it is equal to the pitch of the thread but uh, if you talk about the multiple thread multiple star thread then it is it becomes the np it means that whatever the number of thread for example if you have a, a, a double star thread then the lead is equal to the uh, two times of the pitch after that helical angle of the thread what is the helical angle yeah helix angle the angle formed by a thread with the plane perpendicular to the axis of the thread so let's move towards the diagram okay so that is the thread the angle formed by the thread with the line perpendicular to the axis of the thread that line that line if i make it with the red color not red if i make a different color black color so that black line is actually the perpendicular line to the axis of the thread and that is yellow line is the thread so what is the definition of the helix angle the thread the angle which the thread make makes with the line which is perpendicular to the axis of the thread that angle is called the helix angle okay and in the diagram it is shown to you that it is the helix angle and what is axis of thread the imaginary line passing through the center and parallel to the length of the bolt okay so what is that imaginary line this imaginary line is called the axis of the thread okay so we have covered all the technical terms or nomenclature of the threads so stay tuned to our channel